Is compost tea really dangerous? Stick around to find out. Let's go back to organics. Today I'm going to talk about why brewing compost tea can be dangerous. Um, don't mind my poor artwork here, but um, this is just a plant and I drew some of the roots with ground level here and these are just raindrops or sprinklers. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about the typical way that people brew compost tea and why it can be dangerous. So most people, when they make compost tea, they make a five gallon bucket and they put uh, like a sock full of compost in there. Then they'll put molasses in there and a bubbler and they'll leave it sometimes for two days, three days and just let it froth and do whatever it's going to do. They're trying to increase the bacteria content inside the um, compost tea, thinking that that's going to be a good thing for their soil. Um, in reality, just let's just I'm not a I'm not a scientist or anything, but let's just use a little bit of logic here and think about what they're doing. Um, in compost, there's hundreds of thousands of different types of bacteria. And just to name one, I'm going to pick on one specific bacteria today, uh, E. coli. Now, everybody hears about E. coli outbreaks in the supermarket. Um, it's often heard of on lettuce or strawberries or different fruits. Um, so the, you know, you'll hear on the news not to buy a particular fruit at a, at a particular time in the season. Um, so E. coli is in virtually everything. Um, it's in the soil, it's in bacteria, or, sorry, it's in the compost, it's in water, it's everywhere. Um, but nature likes to keep things in balance. So a little bit of E. coli is not enough to hurt us, but it's when E. coli gets out of control that it will start to hurt us. So when people are adding sugar to their compost, or their compost tea, they're adding a food source to the, for the bacteria. Now, some bacteria can reproduce at a faster rate than others. And we don't know exactly what type of bacteria are in that compost. That depends on if it's made out of horse manure or steer manure or, you know, what kind of things it was made out of will help depict what kind of bacteria are in it. But like I said, E. coli is in everything. So if you're adding a food source, adding oxygen and adding water, that's the perfect environment for every bacteria to reproduce. So you're uh, giving perfect um, environment for possibly E. coli or possibly other harmful bacteria to reproduce. And then once you take that uh, compost tea and apply it to your plants, um, you could be spreading those harmful bacteria onto your food, which could be a, good, a harmful thing to you and your family. So, with my little diagram here, I was going to show you just how nature generally handles compost and kind of compost tea. So, here is a, a general plant, and here are some raindrops or sprinklers or whatever. And let's say that this was a forest. So leaves and stuff would fall onto the forest floor and create compost over time. Now, once that compost is made, the water droplets come through and hit that compost, go through it, and then come down into the soil and hit the, the roots of the plant. As that water comes through the compost, it's absorbing any of the water-soluble nutrients, things like salts, potassium, um, things like that that can easily be dissolved into water. It will grab and pull down into the soil. 
This is like in a forest where you're not mixing the compost into the soil. So that's how natural compost tea happens. Now, <clears throat> there's no sugar that they add that, you know, nature doesn't add sugar to this. Nature doesn't, you know, aerate it for in a bucket for 72 hours or anything like that. It just plops some water on it, percolates through, and goes straight to the roots. So in my next video, I'm going to show you a, the proper way to make a compost tea and a safer way to make a compost tea. And I hope that I've at least given you some food for thought about compost tea and how it can be dangerous and maybe just giving you some information to think about before you start using compost tea on your plants. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more organic gardening tips and how-tos.